Hi guys, welcome back. Today we have another Vlogmas video, but if you're watching this outside of December, we have a new video. <laughs> and today we're going to be ranking my Australian eyeshadow palettes. Now I do have a couple of uh, singles from, I have two from Ulta 3 and one from Australis, but I thought, mm, we'll just stick to palettes. Um, in saying that, all three of my single shadows are top notch. I have the Australis Metallics Cream Shadow in Guns and Rose Petals. And then I have two of the Ulta 3 Master Metals in Bronze and Brass, and they are just phenomenal uh, single eyeshadows. And they're all shimmers. So um, I thought I'd just mention that before we get into it. I have a mixture of Indie and Drugstore. There are no luxury eyeshadow palettes that are Australian that I know of. If you know of any, please let me know, but I don't know of any. Um, so we're gonna get right into it, but before we get into it, I have some sad news. Do you like this eye, eye look? I love it, it's phenomenal. Um, just filmed the whole thing, and I turned the microphone on, but I guess it's low battery. <laughs> I got no audio. It's just, for some reason, it just muffles, and I've never had that happen before. Um, so hopefully this works. If it doesn't, you won't see this video. Um, but I'm going to rank the 10. I have exactly 10. Isn't that perfect? It's like it was meant to be. Um, so yeah, we're going to go from 10 to 1. I will have everything listed in the description if you want to cheat. By all means, I'm a cheater. Um, I'm not a cheater. I like to see what people are talking about while they're talking about it. Um, but let's get right into it. So uh, this is Ulta 3 Ultimate Eyes in Matte Mayhem. This is the only Ulta 3 palette I've ever used and it's all mattes. And the reason why this is number 10 is I wasn't totally wowed with this. Uh, the black shade is not good. It's patchy and it doesn't layer well and it, it just blends out into nothing. You just gotta keep going over and over and over again. I was not impressed with the black. These first four shades were nice. They're nice. I find if you like something really simple and neutral, um, I thought this would be a good dupe for the uh, Charlotte Tilbury, you know, the 90s little palette she has. I thought that would be a good dupe for that, but I think it's just lacking in a bit of quality. In saying that, I haven't tried any of the others. I don't know what the shimmers are like, um, and blacks can be very hit or miss. And it's just a bit of a miss with this one. Um, I wouldn't mind trying other palettes in the future. And it's not to say I would never use this. I would just focus on these ones here. I don't think I would use the black. So yeah, that is number 10. But the Ulta 3 single shadows, the master metals, I absolutely love. Ulta 3 has some really beautiful products. This just isn't it for me. Okay, number nine is my Lucky Bunny Gluttony. Now this isn't bad. The reason why it's number nine is it's a little bit more blue heavy and I don't wear blue a lot. And um, if I'm honest, this brown is a little, mm, I didn't really, it kind of is nothing. You can kind of see it kind of, it's a little too sheer in my opinion. These shimmers are really, really nice. It's a good quality palette. Let me show you um, this green and this purple. It's a really nice palette. Oh, those two look really nice together. Oh, I think I just inspired myself. Purple and green. Oh, oh, I think I'm gonna do that. That's a really nice, those two colors. It's actually a really nice palette. Um, I did a, I went to, I went to, I had during lockdown a 90s Zoom call with my work and we had to do 90s makeup. Or was it early 2000s? I think it was early 2000s. And I did a really nice blue look with the lip liner lips. Um, with this palette and it looked really good. So it's a good palette, but it's just number nine because I, it's not something that I would reach for all the time because it is a little bit brighter than what I usually wear, but not a bad palette. Number eight is from BYS. This is very new to me. I got this in the past couple of weeks. This is the Noosa palette and this is number eight because these, share, these are, it's not the worst palette in the world. These are the palettes that I've kept. I have had other palettes that I have decluttered. I've had two Chi Chi palettes that I've decluttered. Oh, Models Prefer. I had a Models Prefer that I decluttered. It, that was good. I just gave it to a friend because it was a limited edition and I knew I wasn't gonna use it on camera. So I have had other palettes that didn't make it. These are the ones that I've kept. But this one is new to me. 
And it's number eight, one, because I haven't used all of these shades. There's a lot in here. It's a pretty big palette. And two, like it, it worked, but it probably wasn't the best formula I've ever used in my life. Um, the other ones that I have here that are, you know, higher in the ranking are really, really good quality. Um, so it just, it's a matter of who makes the cut. And I think this is something that I would use as more of a daily basis when I don't want anything intense. Like this is quite an intense look when I want something really subdued. I do like palettes like this. They have their place, more subtle pigments, still blendable. They still worked all really well. I have not used down this area. I've used more of the warmer tones, um, but yeah, not bad. It's the only BYS I've ever tried though. I've never tried the tin palettes. Apparently they're better. Um, maybe one day I'll try, I'm not in any rush. I've got a lot of makeup on Black Friday, so taking it easy. <laughs> the next palette I have, which is the number seven spot, is the Chi Chi Super Nudes palette. This is the same kind of reason that it's quite big that I haven't actually used all the shades. I probably have used um, up here the most. I haven't used around here too much. There is one, two, three, four pressed glitters in here, which I find quite disappointing. And I know some people like pressed glitters, but a lot of people don't. So to have one on every row is a little excessive to me. Um, not to say I would never use it, but if I'm gonna use a glitter, I don't usually go into a palette. Actually, I usually go for ColourPop because I just know that they're all gonna have a pressed glitter. Um, but yes, it's a good palette. I like this palette. I actually decluttered it, regretted it, and brought, brought it back in. And I'm actually glad I have it now. It's a really nice palette. This, for me, just has a bit of everything. It has every kind of neutral. It has cool brown, warm brown, cool pink, and ready tones i guess so you can go from day to night in this if that is what you do i don't know who does day to night i'm not one of them if i do day to night i completely take off my makeup and start again um <laughs> but yes that is number seven number six is this is dirty and i'm really sorry you know how a lot of drugstore makeup just always looks horrible because of the oh it looks just horrible I do apologize because of all the sticky tape. This is the Australis Beach Days. I love, if you if you know me, I love Australis eyeshadows. They know how to do eyeshadows well. Um, the reason why this is number six is I have two other ones that I just rank a little bit higher, but honestly, they're all fantastic. So here is, um, it's a lot more warmer. It's a, quite fun, but it's also very wearable around over here. Lots of beautiful browns and uh, soft browns, orange, blues. We've got a nice dark shade here. It's a really nice palette, really good quality. I'm gonna swatch for you because the quality of the of Australis eyeshadows are phenomenal. They blend really well. Really nice palette to use. So that is my number six. Number five, making sure I'm on track. Number five are singles. So I want you to ignore this half. That's American, we don't wanna look at that. Here are my Enchanted Luster singles. Now I bought this in uh, last year. She did mystery bags. And they were mystery bags of singles. And I was like, ooh, because I don't know what to pick. So I'd like to get a little bit of everything. So here we have two, four, six, eight singles from Enchanted Luster. Now they, they are an Australian indie brand that sell on Etsy, but they do very well. So let's do some swatches because we have a variety. We have, I think these are both from the Fluoro collection. I can't remember all the collections. Now you'll be able to see like this one here is super flaky and even this one is really kind of, I don't wanna say dusty. It's because it's so heavily shimmery glittery um, and so heavily pigmented. What's the right word? Foiled that when you put it on your eye, it looks exceptional, but in the pan, it can be a little bit fragile. Yes. So I love this yellow one. Oh my God, so soft. I love this yellow one. Let's do this fluoro. The fluoro is nice. It's probably not her best formula. It looks a little patchy, a little sheer. Okay, my swatches are not amazing, but it does look better on the eye. So this top one is that really flaky one. I didn't get the best swatch, but this is called Dream. And it's got quite a, and it's got quite a bit of glitter in it. Then we have this yellow shade is called 
Jelly Wish, I love this yellow. You can even see it's quite a standout in the row. It looks phenomenal. Then we have, this is the fluoro one that I'm not crazy about. This is, what does that say? Cockatrice? I don't know, what does that say? What does that say? Does that say cockatrice? I don't know what that says. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I don't love it. I feel like fluoro is a very hard thing to pull off anyway. Uh, then we have this purple shifted black base. This one is called Terra. That's better, I should show. See how that's a nice duochrome. And then the last one we have is this green one, which is Craft down here, which is also a really nice shade. So uh, this is number five because they're quite unique. That yellow one really is quite gorgeous. I used that in my inner corner once and I loved it. Really nice pigmentation. So that is number five. Number four is another Australis palette that I need to clean. All right, that looks a tiny bit better. This is the Pop Culture palette and this is their more cooler toned palette and it's probably is it their newest one their most recent one that they've released i can't remember if there's another one that they've released but maybe the bar they brought out a barbie one but in terms of these ones uh that aren't a collab i would say this is the newest one now this here is a duochrome it's fantastic let me give you some swatches see that's a whole look there so here's the duochrome here is the blue based silver. There's a nice cloudy blue and a nice transition brown. Such a nice palette. All right, my number three spot, I've tried to clean this one too, <laughs> is the Australis Neutralize. So this is, I'll put this as number three just because it's probably the most wearable for me, but also the quality. <gasps> no, it broke. I just said the word quality and it literally just broke. Okay. <laughs> yes, I love the quality of the shadows in this one. Packaging, not so much. And you can see how nice this palette looks. It looks like I've barely touched it, but I have used it quite a bit. So I'm gonna show you some swatches of this one. Certain shades are just, this has got such a beautiful creamy formula too. And this is very much a nice glam palette for me because the shimmers are just quite exceptional and oh my god the mattes i feel like the quality of this they're all really high quality but the quality of this palette is a little bit higher in my opinion um it is just phenomenal look at this beautiful red look at that so here we have i did one matte out of that good good job sam <laughs> so here's the matte look how nice and it looks smooth and it's almost like a satin finish but it's not it is a matte and then I love this shade, love this shade. Then we've got a red and a copper, just stunning. So as you can tell, I do recommend Australis palettes and they have a lot of other ones, but these are the three that caught my eye because they're all three quite different ones. And that's what I like about them. They don't look the same. Each one of them is quite different. Now, number two. Our top two are both indie, which is exciting. So number two is um, Geology Cosmetics, the Pilbara. Now this is a brand new makeup brand and they only have this one palette for sale. And they are Western Australia based, in, um, inspired by the Pilbara in Western Australia. Um, and so it's a beautiful landscape and these tones are so spot on with the aesthetic of the Pilbara. And the owner of Geology Cosmetics is also a geologist. So it's a perfect combination. I love this size of palette. It's such a wonderful palette. I'm not usually a fan of triangles or different shaped shadows, but the way that this is structured, it works out really well in my opinion. And it's a very well laid out palette. So you have green, we have more rosy tone, and then we have more, when I say rosy tone, I mean brown, browny or orange. So you've got a nice structure to the palette. 
and every shade is phenomenal except for shirt shirt is not great it just doesn't really come off and then it hard pans so i don't but all the other shades are fantastic. Let me show you. So Spinifex is, I believe, a duochrome. And that performs really well on the eye. This swatch doesn't look great, but it looks really nice on the eye. So we've got like a green shift to red, I want to say. It looks green in the pan. Can you see? This one here. Yeah, red to green to gold. Starry Sky is definitely a sh uh, showstopper. This is this white glitter shimmer. It looks fantastic on the eyes. Really nice palette. Those swatches are not doing justice. When I did, I did a review of this. I'll link it for you. I have done reviews. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'll remember to um, either link in the description or card it of all of these that I've done reviews on because I've done a review on quite a lot of these. Really, really nice palette. And she's done a really good job for a first palette. For just a palette anyway, not just a first palette. So I'm excited to see what else that they come out with. I feel like if they did liquid lipsticks that are in similar shades, I would be so into that. Oh my God, I'd be so into that. Okay, number one. Now, I have a confession. Number one. I've only used once, but it blew me away so much that I just knew it had to be number one, okay? The formula is a 10 out of 10, and it's actually the eyeshadow that I am wearing today. First time I've used it, and I, I, I know this is gonna disappoint some of you because you're like, you've only worn it once, how could you possibly know? I am telling you, the way that this performed on my eyes, I know. It's a 10 out of 10. And I don't care if you don't care. I don't care if it annoys you because it is that good. It is the Glaminatrix Silent Night palette. Wow. So I filmed this whole look as a first impression. And like I said in the beginning of the video, uh, there's no audio. So I'm not happy. I am not happy. <laughs> But I'm going to have to film it again and I'll probably do another look. So, I mean, there's that. But I'm just very annoyed because I put a lot of effort into it. Anyway, this is number one because look at this palette. This is not something that I would normally be like, oh my God, that's the palette for me. That is a 10 out of 10. But the formula of this and the way and ha this was very easy to achieve. This blended, so the mattes were so easy to blend and build and layer. It was incredible. And apparently this is a new formula of the mattes. I've never tried anything before, but I'm converted and I want to try more. I know that she's creating a new palette. It's either going to be a neutral or a really dark palette. Either one, I'm here for it. As long as it's not a rainbow palette, I'm here for it. Um, my favorite shades were these two that I used today. This matte stocking was exceptional. No uh, kickback, no fallout, and it looked so good on my eyes when I first started packing it on. And then tinsel is just phenomenal. So I'm gonna give you a quick little swatch. All of them were great. I used five of the eight shades and not one of them disappointed me. So this is the bottom row. I don't know why I did the bottom row first, but I did. Even the way that these swatch, it's just insane. And I cannot, it's one of those palettes that I cannot wait to use again. I wanna do all different looks. Look at this bauble shade here. So this is a special shade. We've got green to pink, silver, purple, green. It doesn't it look phenomenal. So I didn't use that shade today. And then here is the top row. So I used all of these three shades, but I didn't use the green. And like, look at this. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? That's one swipe. One swipe, one swipe, one swipe. It is one of the best palette eyeshadow formulas I have used, not just in this ranking, but have used. It is just such good quality. I am so glad that I bought this. If you are somewhat interested in this color story, it is worth every penny. Even if you're American or overseas, I think the shipping is around 20 US dollars. It's high, but this is a fantastic palette. I love it. I'm so glad they're, glad that they're Australian because shipping is only $9, <laughs> 
which is okay with me. Finally, something is not insane shipping for me. So that is my number one. Those are my top 10. Well, I only have 10. Those are my 10 eyeshadow palettes that are Australian. I would love to know your favorite Australian eyeshadow palettes. Not just the brand, but the, the palette. For me, as an overall brand, from my experience, Australis has the best quality because I have three of their palettes. Whereas a lot of the other brands, I've only tried one palette. I've tried a few Chi Chi. Um, Chi Chi formula hit and miss for me. Some are fantastic, some are not. Um, obviously, I wanna try more of this brand and more of this brand because they're my top two. And I'm very excited to see where those two brands go. They are being recognized internationally, which is just phenomenal. I love to see it. But that is everything. I'll have everything linked down below. And keep an eye out. I'm, I, I, wanna, I wanted to put this video up before this one, or the review of this. So I'll probably film this tomorrow um, to hopefully put it up this week. And then you'll see this video. So keep an eye out for that. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.